Hey y'all, during the summer months, a fair number of our chicken recipes utilize the technique of basic shredded chicken. But now that we are moving into fall, we're gonna start using the technique of chicken tenders. Cutting your chicken into tenders is a great trick for qu quickly cooking your meat. Wow, stumbled over all those words. Um, I also like that since you have more surface area, you get more of the flavorful browning of the chicken. This recipe keeps it simple with one of my favorite sauces and roasted Brussels sprouts, which I've got to say is probably my favorite way to eat Brussels sprouts. On that note, let's cook. Start by heating the oven to 425 and lining a baking sheet in foil. Spread the Brussels sprouts out on the foil lined sheet, drizzle with oil and sprinkle with salt. Roast the Brussels sprouts for 20 to 30 minutes or at least until cooked to your liking. While the Brussels are roasting, heat some avocado oil in a pan over a medium low flame. Put the chicken tenders in the pan, being careful of the hot oil and making sure not to overcrowd. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. Let the tenders cook for at least five minutes. There will probably still be pink on top of the tender, but the sides should be turning white. Flip the tenders over and cook for at least another five minutes. You will know they are done when they aren't pink in the middle and the juices run clear. I typically cut the biggest tender across the fattiest part of it to check. Then you're gonna turn the heat off. Depending on how much sauce you like to make, you're gonna mix together the Dijon mustard and the white wine vinegar in a two to one ratio. E.g., two tablespoons Dijon mustard to one tablespoon white wine vinegar, or four tablespoons Dijon mustard to two tablespoons white wine vinegar. So decide on how much sauce you wanna make and go ahead and whip that up. Then you're gonna taste it and add more Dijon mustard or white wine vinegar as you desire. Once the veggies are done roasting, spoon some onto a plate with a few tenders. Then drizzle the sauce over the chicken and let's eat.